Hey, it's Fernbark here, and if you've been a Ryobi 18 Plus user for a while, uh, this has probably been your go-to guy for uh, weed whacking in your yard. I bought this about six years ago, and uh, it's been a pretty great unit the whole time. Uh, but if you've been using this, you probably wish you had something a little better. Well, this year Ryobi's coming out with their new 18 volt brushless uh, weed trimmer. Uh, big difference, uh, besides the fact that it has brushless motor, uh, you get two strings instead of one string. The new 18 volt trimmer, which is this guy right here, looks pretty similar to the 40 volt expanded model, which uh, is the unit that allows you to interchange this bottom half piece with a variety of tools so you could uh, hook up a cultivator or an edger. There's a bunch of different stuff. You can tell that the bottom is pretty much the same exact piece. Uh, the big difference is going to be is right about here in the middle where you would disconnect the expanded style trimmer. Uh, the new brushless 18 volt does not allow you to do that with this unit. Now I also have, besides this 40 volt expanded style, I also have uh, just a regular 40 volt edger trimmer unit. And I've been using that, well both of these, for probably the last two, two and a half years. And I really, really like them a lot. So I'm looking forward to trying out this 18 volt model right here and see how it compares to the 40 volt models. A few things besides the brushless motor separate this 18 volt unit from its older brother. Uh, of course the double string is a huge advantage. It also is a bump uh, feed system instead of uh, it sending out a quarter inch of thread every time you stop the this motor. It has a unique loading system where you put a 10 inch piece of filament into it and then spin this to uh, load it. Funny story, I'm running this thing for about 25 minutes, uh, just trimming up stuff, seeing how it runs. And I'm thinking, well, it's okay, but it could definitely go a lot faster. And so I'm switching out the battery, and I noticed this little button right here, and it said low. And then I switched it, and it said high, and yeah, this thing really hums. Now, I like this a lot. I was about to give this a mediocre review, and uh, with this high setting, it's definitely a huge upgrade over the previous model and on power with the 40 volts. Uh, I got to run a, a battery through this thing and see how long it lasts on high. Obviously it's not going to be quite as long, but um, it, that doesn't really matter because you can move faster. So you'll get more done. So you should be able to trim pretty much about the same amount. Also when you get into the thick stuff, it's going to bust through the uh, thick items and not get caught up. Anyhow, so far enjoying this unit. Okay, you're definitely not going to want to wear shorts or flip-flops when you use this thing. There's quite a bit of uh, spray out the uh, business end of this device. It does edge pretty good. I uh, turned it on its side and uh, practiced edging down the sidewalk here. Uh, you're probably going to do edging on low speed, at least that's where I plan to do it. Uh, just because uh, at high speed it gets a little bit uh, harder to control and, you don't, and the low speed does a fine job of doing the edging. So. Um, I know you can play with it yourself and figure it out. Okay, I was able to trim the entire backyard, and you can see I have uh, quite a bit of stuff to trim around. And I was able to do uh, pretty much the whole front yard on just one battery, which is amazing because even with the 40 volt, uh, that's a battery and a half, and it was two four amp hour batteries with the previous string trimmer. So this is a huge improvement. And I did that on high speed, which is probably where you're going to want to live. Brushless weed trimmer comes with everything you see here so you get the unit itself the teleport charger a few extra things a string uh, the battery of course and the winder that's supposed to help you get the string fed into the unit when you need to change it 
It's really easy to put together. There's just two screws right here. It comes with the uh, hex head wrench to put them on. And then uh, there's just a uh, wing nut right there that attaches the guard that keeps you from getting rock shot at you. I have to tell you, I love everything about this unit so far. I will be running it exclusively on high speed with the 13-inch uh, cut. Uh, it just works really good that way. In fact, I'm going to start using this instead of my 40 volts that I've been using that I really like. Now, the question is, should you ever get this? And I would say yes, because this guy right here is pretty heavy. I was going to give the new 18 volt to my mom. She has one of these right here. But this is quite a bit heavier. My mom's 75. She would not be able to hold that bigger unit. So if you uh, don't have a lot of upper body strength or you know whatever, uh, this is still a good unit. And if you have uh, light trimming to do, like she just has a regular suburban yard, she doesn't have to go through ditch weeds and, and heavy stuff, this still works great. But uh, for, for what I use, uh, uh, one complaint about this is if you want to use it for edging. So you're going to turn it sideways to edge. Well, the handle doesn't come around nice for you to hold, so it's really awkward if you want to use this for edging. If you own the 18 volt system, I would say definitely get this. Uh, there's nothing not to love about it except for that edging bit. But it, and it's a great value. You get the battery and the unit for uh, right now around 150 bucks. So it's a pretty sweet deal. Anyhow, hope this helps you.